I'm here with John Angus from The Trues. John Angus, thank you for joining me. Yeah, no problem, thanks for having me on. Welcome back to Kelowna. Uh, what's your fondest memory of our fair city? Uh, the last time we came through, Jack and I, our bass player Jack and I, took some kayaks out in this here water. It was pretty fun. I love kayaking, that's a, that's a nice memory. It was a nice day, we spent a couple hours out. It was prior to our show that night with Kid Rock at the center or whatever it's called, yeah. But it was good, it was a good day. Cool. Now, 2013 is obviously a, a big year for the Trues. It's an anniversary year yes. of uh, your debut record. And also you've announced a, a Pledge Music campaign for a record that's coming out in 2014. How's it all going so far? So far, so good. Um, we're about two weeks in and we're at about 50% of the target, which, you know, is, is great because we gave ourselves two months to get to, <laughs> to 100. But, um, you know, it's one of those things where we really feel that the, the business model that's governed the industry for the past like 60 years is proving to be very broken, you know. So um, Benji Rogers and his team at Pledge are taking a really proactive, uh, you know, look at reworking the industry. And I think it's early days, but I, we're happy to be in on sort of the ground floor of it and and potentially be sort of ahead of the, ahead of the curve of a new business model, you know. So now we're talking new business models, things like that. Obviously, that's all a distant kind of dream 16 years ago when you started One-Eyed Trouser in high school. Uh, did you ever dream it would come this far? I don't know what I was dreaming back then. I, I Just making it to the, you know, the weekend show, I think, was the priority then. Um, I don't know. We never really thought that we would have... I don't know. There was no long-term plan, I guess is what I'm trying to say. We just sort of, uh, you know, kept looking at the next thing and the next thing. And then once you experience some success, then it's like those, you know, goals become a little bit bigger. And, and then you just keep following them and chasing them. And the next thing you know, you wake up 10 years later and, you know, you're in, back in Kelowna. Do you feel like a new band? Um, ish. I mean, in certain respects, like any long-term relationship is, you know, it, it can feel like a minute or it can feel like, a, you know, an eternity, you know, so um, in certain respects we feel like we have lots left to accomplish and in others we're sort of awed by the this like decade-long career that we've managed to, to carve out. Yeah, and I asked that because I think you said that somewhere in another interview, so I thought I'd throw it to you now at this point and see what you had to say about it. <laughs> um, what I'm wondering is the Trues are a family affair. Uh, obviously you've got your brother in the band and your cousin as well. Yeah. Um, does that make it easier or harder to be on the road with the band? Um, I think ultimately it makes it easier. I think if you sat in the van with us, you'd think we were like in a terrible argument, you know, but that's just like a regular conversation because <laughs> that's the kind of way families get on and they get over it really quick. And uh, I think that it, it, for the long term, it's healthy. I mean, for the short term, you might think that we're all going to kill each other, you know, but, but that's just brothers, the, way we, so it's the way we operate. Yeah, you know how it works. Um, if you look at any of your YouTube videos online, you read the comments underneath, you'll see people saying things like, these guys are amazing, they deserve so much more attention, so much more uh, celebration. Um, you know, I saw them open for Kiss, and uh, they were better than Kiss, and all this stuff. Do you guys kind of feel like you deserve more notoriety as well? Do you feel kind of underappreciated? Um, I, might, I might agree with that statement if we were referring to, like, you know, the U.S. or something. Like, we've... We're grateful for the following that we have in Canada, and it's been like a really great decade-long career where everywhere we turn up, there's tons of people out to see us, and that's not to be like, you know, you don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth and say, oh, they, there should be more, you know, because we're happy that there is any, and, and they're so passionate. Um, so it's one of those things where, yeah, there's, it could always be better, but that's just life, right? You know. For sure. Well, John Angus, thanks so much for your time. Enjoy Kaloha, and give my regards to the rest of the band. All right. Cheers, man. Cheers.